Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beastons and every single Tuesday and Sunday, I upload motivating videos to get you ready for life, for the week ahead, and just try to give you simple ideas to make life easier, whether that's from cooking, cleaning, decorating, routines, I try to do it all, so if any of that sounds good, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know if you wanna see more what's for dinner videos. All of today's recipes are super easy with minimal ingredients because that's what I need in my life. So the first recipe we are making is called margarita chicken. All you're gonna need is some mozzarella, some pesto and some chicken and fresh tomatoes if you like tomatoes. I feel like tomatoes are very like hit or miss with people, but all you have to do is spray down your pan, add the chicken to it, add some pesto on top, add a slice of mozzarella cheese and a slice of tomato. It does not get easier than that. And I cooked mine for about a half an hour on 350 degrees. I often try to explain in my videos how you can't do it all and sometimes you just need to cut corners even if it's something as simple as buying pre-sliced mozzarella or buying jarred pesto instead of making your own. You're still making home cooked meals and that's something to be proud of all in itself. This dinner was so easy and delicious and usually I would make like a rice or a pasta or something with this, but we just had broccoli because Chris and I had plans to eat donuts after dinner. So we did not do any rice or pasta or anything like that. I'm obsessed with basil. So having some fresh basil on top of my chicken as well. And I just feel like the camera footage didn't do this meal any kind of justice, but it was a really delicious, easy, inexpensive and healthy. Next up is my enchilada soup. This was so, so good. And you know I love a good dump and go crock pot meal. So if you have any dump and go crock pot meals that you like, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'm sure all of us would appreciate those recipes. But for this recipe, you're basically gonna need a ton of canned stuff. And I'll have all these recipes linked in the description box below. But one thing I want to say is if you don't like super spicy, only use one can of those diced green chilies because ours was just spicy enough, but almost a little bit too spicy for the kids. So next time I would use one jar, but it was delicious. So I'm just using two cans of black beans and one can of corn. The recipe calls for a can of white beans, but we use corn in its place. And I really think that it gave it like an added sweetness and just made it even better. You're also going to need a can of green enchilada sauce. Like I said, those two um, cans of green chilies, but only use one if you don't like super spicy. And you're also going to need a can of diced tomatoes as well. Mm -hmm. 
And now that our chicken breast and our canned goods are in, I'm just adding my spices, which are cumin, chili powder, and paprika. And like I said, I'll have the exact recipes linked in the description box below, but it turned out delicious. I'm probably yelling at my kids to stop killing each other right now. Um, but this is, this is real life, these videos. These are me actually cooking at dinner time, so they're not even close to perfect, but I'm hoping that I still get the point across to you and still show you what these meals are like, how yummy they are, and how easy they are. I almost forgot to add my two cups of chicken broth, so I'm doing that now. Um, and then right before you're about to serve it, probably in half an hour before, you're gonna add in some cream cheese as well, which really gives it a nice creaminess. And we just served ours with some shredded cheese on top and some tortilla chips to give it an added crunch. And here's a little YouTube verse reality clip for you. <laughs> What's for dinner? Taco soup. Taco soup? Yeah. Enchilada soup. Mmm. <laughs> Now we are making a honey garlic chicken stir fry. My corner cutting hack here was just buying carrot chips as well as pre-cut broccoli. Um, yeah, but this is super easy. You just need honey, soy sauce, vegetable oil, cornstarch, some garlic, and broccoli and carrots. So incredibly easy. So the first thing I'm doing is just warming up some vegetable oil, and then I'm going to cook my carrots and my broccoli for just a little bit. Thank you. 
You basically have to cook them based on how you like them and I still want mine to have some crunch to them so they're done. I'm taking them out and adding a little bit more vegetable oil then I'm going to cook my chicken. Once my chicken is cooked I'm going to add my sauces and my garlic, add the veggies back in and then just mix it all up and then you add your cornstarch which will make your sauce thicker but this was really delicious and easy and it felt like we were eating takeout um, and it was really healthy too. A lot, I get a lot of comments about like, oh, soy sauce isn't gluten-free since we're a gluten-free family, but we use La Choy. La Choy is gluten-free um, and also we use tamari when we can't find La, La Choy and they're both gluten-free, I promise. If you don't have a garlic press, you need one. I use this thing all the time. And it just makes like cutting garlic so much easier. You just put it in there, crush it up, and it's perfect. Next up is sheet pan veggies and sausage. You can literally use whatever veggies you want. Um, I'm just using peppers because of course peppers and sausage go together and the zucchini with it was really delicious as well. Um, my kids are just chowing down on chips and salsa, which I personally love because I didn't like salsa until I was much older. When I was younger, I thought everything was so spicy. Um, so I'm pretty impressed that my kids like salsa and they love watching me cook and helping cook and although it makes everything take longer I still love it because like I always say I want to raise kids that know how to help out in the kitchen and know how to do housework and don't expect their significant others to just do everything for them.
so you notice that we cook a lot of chicken in this house um, we don't really eat beef it's just a personal preference I used to eat it when I was younger and it just doesn't like agree with my stomach like I always get sharp horrible pains in my stomach when I eat beef so we just don't eat it we eat a lot of chicken a lot of ground turkey and we do eat sausage as well and I'm using um, mild sweet Italian sausage Okay, so now that everything is on the sheet pan, I'm just using some salt and pepper and I'm gonna throw that in the oven on 400 degrees for about a half an hour. Again, it depends on your oven and depends on how cooked you want your veggies, but you definitely wanna cook that sausage all the way through. So with this meal, I did make some pasta and I'm just putting some jarred tomato sauce on it. This will entice the kids to eat it as well. They love breakfast sausage and they love meatballs. So sometimes they will actually eat this sweet Italian sausage. And on this night, they did. And finally, our last recipe um, was probably my favorite recipe ever. You know I make something similar with ranch seasoning, but this time I'm using butter and Italian seasoning. And I'm using chicken tenders because that's what I had. You can use whatever chicken you want, but this came out so good that I think I wanna use chicken tenders every single time. So you just need chicken tenders, some potatoes. I just got baby potatoes, so I didn't even have to cut them. I could just throw them right in the crock pot. And this recipe called for a half stick of butter. Use as much butter as you would like, but I did use a half stick of butter. So first, I'm just washing my potatoes. I have my chicken tenders in the crock pot. I'm just adding the potatoes right to it. Again, this is like a dump and go recipe, which are my favorite because they're delicious and easy. Um, and this is healthy too. Uh, a little bit of butter won't hurt you. <laughs> so I'm adding in the butter. You can see how small I cut it. I'm kind of just spreading it out, but this meal was so tender and so flavorful. If you are gluten-free like our family, just make sure the packet of Italian seasoning you get is gluten-free. The only place that I found Italian seasoning that was gluten-free was at Aldi, um, but maybe your store may have a different packet of Italian seasoning, but this doesn't get any easier. If you watched my other Crock-Pot videos, you know like when I use this pretty much same recipe, with ranch dressing i put the green beans in with it but this said not to add them until like the last half hour and they were good they were still like they still had like a little crunch to it um, but i probably next time would add them in right away with the potatoes and everything like i normally do with the ranch um, chicken but this was delicious my sister came over for dinner she even loved it chris loved it and he can be picky at times but yeah, you have to make this meal. I did it on low for six hours. So like I said, my crock pot um, cooked a little bit faster. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And let me know if you want to see more of these videos. Yeah.